One of the big problems with kidney cancer is that um, patients are often treated with curative intent but relapse later. So one of the big problems with kidney cancer is that a lot of patients might potentially benefit from adjuvant treatment. And that's the main question to be asked in the source study where we were looking at three years of placebo or one year of serafinib followed by two years of placebo or three years of serafinib. Unfortunately, the results are definitively negative. I say unfortunately, I think it actually puts to bed the question of tyrosine kinase inhibitors as treatment for a high or intermediate risk renal cell carcinoma, which has been resected. And I think we now need to move on to the next studies. So we've made enormous progress uh, in kidney cancer over the last 15 years. Uh, we've introduced a series of novel therapeutics. Um, so the first new generation of therapeutics were the tyrosine kinase inhibitors targeting angiogenesis. I think they've been very fully investigated. And now the real question is, should we use immunotherapy, the next wave of uh, checkpoint inhibitors, which have clear benefit, but the, the question really is, should patients be given combinations of immunotherapy, a combination of an angiogenic uh, inhibitor, such as a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, plus a, uh, a, a, an immune therapy, or should some patients still do very, very well on tyrosine kinase inhibitors alone? And we're not very good at teasing those out. I think most people nowadays, when the drugs are available in individual countries, will probably use uh, combinations of immunotherapy, a checkpoint, two checkpoint inhibitors, IPI and NEVO, or um, there may be others available in the future, but those are the ones available at the moment uh, as a combination. And they are really for patients who probably won't respond to an anti-angiogenic agent. The majority of patients will probably be offered a combination of an anti-angiogenic agent and a, a PD-1 or PDL one inhibitor. And I think where we draw that border between those two groups of patients is a, is a difficult issue. Also, there are uh, considerable numbers of patients who can't actually tolerate or are unlikely to tolerate uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors, such as anybody with an autoimmune disease, which uh, you wouldn't want to exacerbate by giving this sort of immune therapy. So I think there are important subgroups uh, that we need to tease out the data. And I think that's one of the major issues. I personally think that renal cell cancer remains a disease where the initial intent of treatment for most patients is curative. And we must redouble our efforts, as we have done, I think, uh, in the adjuvant treatment setting. And I think that we've already seen a number of adjuvant therapy trials close for recruitment with the new checkpoint inhibitors. I'd be really fascinated to see those data. I think that's the most likely major benefit for patients in terms of cure in the future.